Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Coffee with Christiana. And today we're continuing our celebration of National Cro or I guess it's International Crochet Month. Uh, today we're going to be talking about crocheted cables. And I love, love, love crocheted cables. They are so much fun. Uh, they have a lot in common with knitted cables. Uh, they have, you can make cables that lean left, lean right. Um, the good thing about crocheted cables is you don't need any extra equipment to do them, whereas with a, a knitted project, you need either a cable needle hook or a double pointed needle to put your extra stitches on. Or of course, you may be one of those brave people that just drops your stitches and picks them back up to cable, in which case I salute you, you're a lot braver than I am. So crocheted cables, today I'm using Road Trip Sock Yarn in the Meow Melange Fingering weight, which is one of my absolute favorite yarns to work with. It's really, really soft and just a blast to work with. And I'm also using my Amore Crochet hook. I'm using a size G. Hi, Mom! Uh, I'm using a size G with the fingering weight because cables, uh, crocheted cables like knitted cables will tend to kind of cause your, your fabric to pucker a little bit. And then when you block them out, that's when you can get them really straightened out. So the cable I am using comes from, uh, ah, just threw my mask across the room, uh, Melissa Leitman's Indispensable Stitch Collection for Crocheters. Uh, we're currently out of stock of this book, but we have some more on the way. And once they get in stock, if you're a crocheter, I highly, highly recommend this book. As you can see, mine's gotten a lot of love. So the cable I'm doing is called the Woven Lattice. And actually, let me pull out the color picture so you guys can see that a little bit better. Isn't that cool? So this is a panel of cable stitches. And I'm just going to be demonstrating the first row for you guys so you can see how to start the cable. And I've already done some establishing rows so you can kind of see if I've already done about yay much. So to do a crocheted cable, and I have to remember which direction I'm going, this particular one calls for a front post double treble. So for a double treble, I'm going to wrap once, twice, and three times around my hook. Now when you're doing a front post stitch, I'm going to go over here to these guys. I need to skip over these and go to these. And that's what's creating the cable is the stitches are going to be leaning. So when you're doing the front post double treble, you actually go under the stitch. So here's my stitch here, right here, that I want to work into. So I'm going underneath and poking out the back, and then I'm completing my double treble like normal. So wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. So you have to do that four times with the double treble. And then I need to do a front post double, double treble around the next guy, which is this guy right here. So I'm going to insert my hook underneath the stitch, wrap and pull up my loop. So I've got five stitches on my hook, so I'm going to go one, wrap and pull through two, until I have just the one stitch left on my hook. So as you can see, I've got a little bit of a gap here. And, <laughs> sorry, I got distracted by the phone. So I don't need to work into these two stitches because my two stitches here account for those guys. So what I need to do is I need to skip those two stitches. So I'm going to count one, two, and then this pattern calls for a half double crochet into that third stitch. So there's one, two, and three. So now I need to come back and work these stitches. And this cable works over the top of these stitches that I just did. So if I'm looking at my row here, do, 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 it says working in front of the last two stitches. So I know it's kind of hard to see on the black and white copy, but the stitches that I did first are going behind. So they have a, a lighter color, a lighter gray. And the stitches that are in front are going to be a darker color. So they're going to be a black color. So I just did these two stitches here. So now I need to do these two stitches here. So I'm going to work around the front of the last two double trebles that I did. So I need to go back and do 
another couple of double trebles. So you need to do these. Hey, Gloria. So you need to go around them in order. So this would be my first one, and then that one would be my second one. So I'm going to find my first guy and do the same thing that I did over there. I'm going to go under the stitch, and then I'm going to complete my double treble. Oops, sorry, I was getting off camera a little bit there. Oops. Sorry, I missed that last loop there. There we go. And now I'm gonna do another double treble into this stitch right here. And there's my cable right there. So this pattern also calls for a half double crochet in between the cables. <laughs> so I'm gonna skip the two that I just worked and then I'm gonna put a half double here. So that half double separates out the two cables in that. Sorry, looks a little wonky because I'm doing it on camera, <laughs> not in person. So you can see that the stitches are going over and under. So when I'm doing the front post, you're working around the front of the stitch. And then the back, the stitches that go back are going over the last stitches I made. Well, let's say I need to work behind the stitches instead of in front of them. So let's just say for demonstrative purposes, I need to work around these guys. So you would actually go underneath the two double trebles, pick up that double treble and work around it. And honestly, y'all, this is not as hard as it looks. It just takes a lot of practice. And to um, this book is a great reference because at the back of the book, Melissa actually shows you how to do the front stitches versus the back stitches, so going under the stitches. So this is, again, an amazing reference, and we will post on social media when that is back in stock. So that is just a very basic Reader's Digest version of how to do crocheted cables. So it's basically doing post stitches over or under. And I will post on social media when I have this a little further along so you guys can get an idea of that. But this is actually a relatively simple cable. You can add in bobbles and do all sorts of things. But this is one of my absolute favorite things to do with crocheting. I love crochet cables. And then you can see that it is puckering just a little bit. So when I block this, I'm likely going to pin it, get it really good and wet and pin it down so that I can straighten out my fabric and get it to, to where the gauge needs to be. So that is all I have for you guys today. And next week we're gonna be talking about corner to corner crochet. And I hope to see you all then. Thanks, bye.